A 2,500-year-old Chinese sword is still razor sharp. No rust. Meanwhile, your brand new wrench rusts after one rainy day. I'm not talking about some museum piece. I'm talking about a weapon so sharp that it cut an archaeologist just by touching it after sitting buried for thousands of years. Your expensive tools? They're falling apart faster than you can buy them. Drop a comment if rusty tools drive you nuts. Because what you're about to learn will blow your mind. Modern tools are actually worse than ancient ones. Here's the mystery that kept me up at night. In 1965, Chinese diggers found something impossible. A bronze sword in an ancient tomb. The Sword of Gujian, Made in the 5th century BC. When they pulled it out, it looked brand new. Zero rust. Zero damage. The blade could slice through 20 sheets of paper like butter. This breaks every rule we know about metal. But here's what really got to me. This ancient weapon beat time itself. Meanwhile, I watched my own tools rust in months. Premium tools. Expensive tools. Tools that cost more than your grocery bill. So I got obsessed. I dug into studies. I read research papers. I needed answers. How does ancient tech beat modern engineering? You're about to discover something that will change everything you think about rust. Sometimes the oldest tech is the best tech. Let's start with the discovery that made scientists question everything. Picture this. You're digging in China in 1965. You open an ancient tomb. Inside sits a bronze sword. It's been buried for over 2,000 years. Logic says this thing should be destroyed. Green rust everywhere. Maybe some metal chunks if you're lucky. Instead, perfect condition. The sword of Gujian came out gleaming, like polished silver. But here's the crazy part. Tests showed the surface was super hard, 650 HV hard. Normal bronze, 300 HV. This ancient sword was twice as hard as modern bronze. Wait, it gets crazier. The sword still cut paper perfectly. After 25 centuries underground, your kitchen knives go dull in months. This weapon stayed sharp longer than human history. Here's proof of how sharp it was. Archaeologist Yuan Zhongyi touched the blade by accident. He didn't know he was cut until he saw blood on the metal. A 2,500-year-old sword cut better than a modern scalpel. This breaks everything we know about metal decay. We're told metals get weak over time. They rust. They break down. That's just how it works. Except this sword proves us wrong. Your wrench rusts in months. This ancient weapon survived thousands of years without one spot of rust. But how? What did these old metalworkers know that we forgot? The secret is a technique so advanced, we just figured it out. Here's where ancient Chinese metalwork gets so good it makes us look stupid. Take one metal, shape it. Done. Simple, right? Wrong. Ancient Chinese sword makers thought different. They knew something we forgot. Different parts need different jobs. The edge needs to be hard, diamond hard. It cuts everything without getting dull. The spine needs to be tough, flexible. It takes hits without breaking. Modern metalwork says you can't have both. Pick hard or tough, not both. Ancient Chinese metalworkers said, watch this. They made something called bimetallic construction. Here's how they did the impossible. High tin on the edges for hardness, low tin on the spine for toughness. But this isn't random mixing. This is rocket science level precision. Scientists studied the sword of Gujian. What they found was incredible. These ancient workers controlled tin amounts with perfect accuracy. The edges had exactly the right tin for hardness. The spine had perfect flexibility. They did this without microscopes, without computers, without any modern tools. Think about that. We need computers to do what they did by hand. This system balanced cutting power with flexibility. Modern metalwork still can't do this well. We make compromises. They made perfection. We think ancient people were simple, but they were doing materials, science that needs advanced tech today. But the real genius wasn't just mixing metals. It was a surface trick so smart that modern science took decades to figure it out. Now we get to the secret that makes these swords nearly indestructible. Here's what blew my mind about this technique. Ancient Chinese sword makers didn't just make good metal. They made a protective layer that becomes part of the metal itself. They called it dip or wipe tinning. Sounds easy? It's not. This made a tin-rich layer, only one-tenth to three-tenths of a millimeter thick, thinner than your hair. But this tiny layer changed everything. This surface was twice as hard as the sword body. It stopped tarnishing completely. The tin structure formed a permanent wall against rust. Here's proof this was impossibly advanced. Modern scientists at the Chinese Academy spent years studying these weapons. They looked at tiny cross-sections under powerful microscopes. 
what they found shocked them. The surface treatment made a structure that modern rust-proof coatings try to copy, but they rarely succeed. Think about your rust-proof tools. They use coatings that wear off fast, paint, zinc coating, chrome plating, all surface treatments that chip and peel away. Ancient Chinese swords used a treatment that became the metal itself. It can't chip off because it is the surface. It can't peel because it's built into the metal. Your tools fail because their protection sits on top. Ancient swords worked because their protection was the metal. We use band-aids. They created permanent immunity. But even perfect metalwork means nothing without the final piece. The Here's the final piece that puts our modern storage to shame. You know what kills metal? Air, oxygen, and water destroy everything. Modern museums spend millions on special storage. Nitrogen gas, humidity control, temperature control. We still lose artifacts to decay. Ancient Chinese weapon makers solved this with stuff they found in nature. They made nearly airtight scabbards. These weren't just leather covers. They were preservation machines. The scabbards created oxygen-free spaces. But here's the genius part. They added sulfur to the scabbard materials. This sulfur actively fought rust. It wasn't just protection. It was active preservation. When diggers opened the sword of Gujian's tomb, they found something impossible. The weapon sat in its original scabbard, sealed so well that the inside hadn't changed in 2,500 years. No oxygen, no water, no rust. Think about that. We spend billions on climate control and still lose artifacts. Ancient weapon makers used natural materials that beat our best tech. They turned a simple scabbard into a time machine. So if this old tech was so good, why do your modern tools fail? The answer will make you mad. Here's the truth that will anger you about every rusty tool you own. We have the tech to make rust-proof tools. We choose not to. Modern tools focus on cheap making over lasting long. Why? Because planned failure drives repeat sales. Ancient craftsmen built forever because replacement meant death. If your sword failed in battle, you died. If your tools failed during harvest, your family starved. Failure wasn't allowed. So they built things to last forever. Here's proof we're being cheated. Modern stainless steel has chromium to fight rust. But makers use the smallest amount that meets ads, not the best amount for protection. Why? Because tools that never rust would kill the replacement market. Think about it. If you bought a wrench that lasted 50 years, the company sells you one wrench in your lifetime. If they make wrenches that rust in five years, they sell you 10 wrenches, which makes more money. We don't have worse tech. We have worse priorities. Ancient Chinese metalworkers built swords to last forever because their reputation mattered. Modern makers build tools to fail because their profits matter more. The tech exists. The knowledge exists. The materials exist. What doesn't exist is the reason to use them. So here we are, 2,500 years later, looking at an ancient sword that beats everything in your toolbox. This isn't just about metal and rust. This is about what we lost chasing progress. Ancient Chinese metalworkers knew something we forgot. True craft isn't about making things fast or cheap. It's about making things right. They built for forever. We build for quarterly profits. If this blew your mind, smash that like button. It tells YouTube that old wisdom deserves remembering. Subscribe for more investigations into advanced tech our ancestors mastered. Drop a comment. What other old tech do you think was better than modern versions? I read every comment. Because sometimes, the best discoveries aren't about moving forward. They're about remembering what we threw away for progress. The ancients knew something we forgot. Maybe it's time we remembered.